Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Veera, Cloud Architect from Cloud Synapse Academy. In this session, we are going to discuss about AWS CloudFront. AWS CloudFront is a content de delivery network available uh, in AWS. So uh, it can, uh, it can, uh, it is a globally distributed network of edge locations. In AWS, there are many edge locations available. So imagine a situation like, you know, I have a website uh, running on a uh, US based server. Okay, and the user from uh, like, you know, somewhere globally in a different place they are accessing. Like I will take an example, like, you know, someone is accessing from India, then like every time when we are getting uh, like, you know, uh, accessing those web content, uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, retrieve the data from the uh, US server. So to avoid these things, like, you know, the, to uh, uh, improve the performance, we have to create a, a cloud fund distribution in Indian uh, edge locations. So like in that case, like uh, we can create a, this distribution, which can like from next time, like uh, very first time it will create, get the catches. From second time onwards, the content will come from the edge locations. So it will be faster. It's, it need not to travel from like, you know, from the server so like uh, imagine the user is accessing mm, the s3 bucket content okay so imagine the, my website is in this s3 bucket so very first time it will get the data from the s, s3 bucket and it will keep the catches in cloud fund distribution so the next time onwards it need not to go uh, to get the uh, data from s3 uh, rather it will get the content from cloud fund itself so it is so quick uh, and uh, like the latency of the uh, web, uh, website will be like you know very less and the uh, performance will be increased and like you know it will be more scalability of, uh, and it will give more security of the websites and it can support static and dynamic web content streaming media and apis and it can be easily integrated with s3 ec2 and lambda functions so in this demo, I'm going to show like, you know, uh, already uh, like in previous video, we have shown how to create a static web hosting. So for this, uh, like I'm, I'm going to use that uh, static web hosting and then I'm going to create a distribution and I, I'm going to show you like what are the components in CloudFront. So without wasting time, let me get into uh, AWS console. So this is my AWS console and uh, before creating a cloud front uh, distribution i'm going to show you my static web hosting which is in s3 so this is my s3 bucket demo cloud synapse and in this bucket i have a small like you know login page uh, called index.html and I have done a static web posting of this page. So if you can go here, properties, and then you can see at the bottom of this window, you can find static web posting. And I have already done a static web posting. Uh, if you want to create a static web posting, you can refer my uh, like you know, one of the video how we can uh, have a, a static web posting you know, on S3. You can refer that video. And let me quickly show you this content is working. So this is my web page. So I have got a, like you know website access. So so this is the static web, web hosting which I am going to use it for this CloudFront. So let me go to CloudFront and then create a CloudFront distribution. Okay, I am gonna choose a S3 as origin. I have selected S3 and if we are using a static web hosting then we can choose the uh, like website endpoint from here so let me choose that uh, endpoint so it automatically see since i have only one static web hosting it came already the endpoint of the s3 bucket already came and then if we need to add any uh, header we can add it but uh, for now i don't have any uh, like header and catching behavior are we going to use http or https or i would like do we need to uh, transfer from http to https 
or like we are going to use only HTTP because since I have a HTTP page I am going to use this option and uh, which type of methods we gonna uh, like you know allow so like are we going to use only the readable pages or if we have any options or like if we need to enter something uh, I wanted to uh, store all those data as a catches we can select this but for now I am going to use only the read readable data and we can restrict the access as well so if you wanted to restrict the CloudFront URL for some uh, content we can enable this but I am not going to do it for now I will explain all these things in another video because CloudFront is uh, like you know uh, more a useful topic and uh, there are many things we can achieve from CloudFront and those things I, I will create a like detailed video and where we can discuss all those things and then that's all and this is the settings so here like we can use all the edge locations so edge locations uh, we can pick up like uh, the best performance if we choose this option so like for example like if we are accessing the web, um, web content from like you know uh, in Asia like better we can choose this option so or like if we have something like specific to America or Europe we can choose this option and even we can use uh, the other one called North America, Europe, Asia, Middle East like that. But it is always recommended to use the first option because it will automatically pick up which edge location is suitable for us. And then if you wanted to filter any like you know web authentication firewall, we can uh, create that one and we can add it here. But currently I don't have any WAF so I'm leaving it for now. And also if you have a HTTPS page, or we need to add a SSL certificate as well currently I don't have any so I'm leaving it as it is and we have to mention like you know which root object is gonna come so if you are not sure or like you know if you are not uh, uh, going to specific something we can give that slash which will accept from the uh, like you know root folder so that's everything so create a distribution and this page will be available within few minutes so it is deploying now uh, since it will deploy uh, like you know globally it takes some time in the meanwhile i will show you the components which are available okay let me quickly go back distribution select the distribution let's go this origin so origin means like you know from where we are getting the uh, content whether we are going to get it from s3 or ec2 we can create an origin for that so it's a kind of a source and then behaviors are we going to use HTTP or HTTPS or those things are like you know called protocol behaviors and error page so if you wanted to show something as an error page we can use this option we can have an error.html file and we can add it here so that the error page will come up so in some cases we will uh, uh, notify the customers right we are doing some uh, maintenance work so since that like we can't access the web page cut right now so like that information we can create as a uh, error, error html and we can add it here and geographic restriction if you wanted to block some countries out of this like you know we can block it okay so we can go like geo restriction edit and we can choose the country which we are we are going to block we can choose it and we can block those countries okay we can select it and then we can save changes but i'm not going to block any country okay and the invalidation so invalidation is the most important uh, like component available in uh, CloudFront because uh, this CloudFront distribution is going to take uh, catches of your website so they cannot keep uh, like you know long term like we can keep it but still like you know we uh, it's not recommended to hold uh, like a bunch of information on the catches because it will uh, again uh, make our performance very slow and also like uh, like more than if we keep uh, like you know, in a month in that case maybe we might have changed some uh, recent contents they are not they won't be like you know updated so in that case we have to do the invalidation so invalidation is nothing but clearing the catches okay so it is more important to do the invalidations often so that is the thing and we can have some metrics as well so if you go here so like uh, we can have some statistics about our uh, websites so we can have some uh, like you know statistics but since i have just created 
I won't get much content but obviously like you know if I come back uh, tomorrow I might have got a like you know, lot of information about it so like we can have the popular object in our website and usage like who is viewing my uh, like you know viewers like from which device they are using which browser they are using which operating system they are using and from which location my web page is like you know uh, getting more views so all those things we can have a look uh, from cloud front distribution so let me quickly go back to distribution again let me check whether it is enabled yes it is enabled let me show you once again so select this and then there would be a distribution domain name let me copy that and I'm gonna paste it here. So now my web page is coming through CloudFront. So if you can see the source file is in S3 and from S3 to uh, it is uh, redirecting uh, from CloudFront. So now I don't need to use directly like I can use this one to access my website or like I can map this endpoint with my domain name and I can access. So that's how it works. So like once we had a, a like you know CloudFront distribution, all these data will be updated. So since it is too early, like you no, know, we, we are not going to have much uh, data. Uh, maybe in like you know in tomorrow, like we will have enough data. So that's everything. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please do uh, you know, leave the those uh, comments. And if you have any doubts, uh, we can share in a comment section. So that's everything for now. Uh, catch you uh, with uh, like no, next video. Bye bye for now.